Today we are going to explore the keyboard on the NumWorks graphing calculator. The keyboard is divided into three different zones, the basic functions, the advanced functions, and the navigation zone. In the basic function section, you'll find the number pad along with your basic operations. Notice that there is only one minus key. Here you will also find the answer key which will allow you to use the most previous result in your calculations as well as the execute key. In the advanced function section, you can find commonly used operations and values, including trig, logs, pi, and square root. To demonstrate the other keys in this section, let's open the calculation application. To use anything in yellow on the keys, press the shift key followed by your selection. If you would like to use an alpha character, press the alpha key followed by the letter you want. You can lock alpha mode by pressing alpha twice. You can confirm it's locked by looking on the top right of your screen. To exit alpha mode, press the alpha key once more. If you would like to use a capital letter, press shift and alpha. The XNT key is a shortcut for those variables. The VAR key is where you can access stored values. The toolbox key has a lot of additional function organized by categories. For instance, here you will see the absolute value, nth root, log base A, and the calculus section with derivatives and integrals, for example. Lastly, there's a backspace key. In the navigation zone, you will have arrow keys to navigate the screen, a home button to return to the home screen, a power button to turn the calculator on and off, and an OK button to make selections on the calculator. The back key is used to take you back to a previous menu. For more tutorials, visit numworks.com.